I wanted to talk to you this morning because the Brick Church has been here for hundreds of years. This church has a lot of history. And we have been here for some, a little over two years now. And there is no way, when I first came here, there was just a handful of people, a small remnant. And it was reported to me that the church was on the verge of closing. Now, as we've seen over the past couple of years, our church has grown. People are coming in, people are getting baptized, we had weddings. There's just a lot of things going on here. And all that happens, all that is happening with the brick, it's to the glory of God. God is doing that work here. There's no way that a church can exist for hundreds of years without God's favor on it. But I know that it's, it's easy to assume because I am the one that's up here every Sunday <laughs> that somehow rather is the hero. And maybe I am. Because I happen to be the one in front of the microphone all the time, it's easy to give me credit. But the fact of the matter is, there are many saints, and two in particular, that the Brick Church owes a debt of gratitude to. And Elder Russ and his lovely wife, we call her Mama Betsy, have been here for a long, long time. And way before the Rev was here, they were here fighting the battle. And for those who have been here before, you know that there were others who chose to leave, but they stayed. And I remember when I was at the other church, and it took us quite a few weeks, a couple months for us to deliberate and think. We knew we wanted to do something with the brick, but we weren't sure. And talk about shameless persistence. Elder Russ just showed up and says, we're waiting for an answer. He cares about this church. This church is his life. They could have left like others, but they stayed. And they stayed in a time when they weren't sure how this was going to turn out. The Bible says, let the elders who rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially those who labor in word and doctrine. And these saints of God, these people of God, have labored for decades. And we want to acknowledge that and remember that and honor that. Now, we have a lovely fellowship room in the back there. And this is not just a place to hang out and put your coat. Fellowship is one of the reasons why the brick is thriving the way it is. Because it's there that we bond with one another. We get to know one another. We laugh, we joke, we cry together in that room. And so at this time, what we are going to do we are going to take that fellowship hall and dedicate it to Elder Russ and his wife. We have a plaque here that says, in recognition of the years of committed service of Elder Russell and Betsy Lawler to the Brick Church, we hereby dedicate this space as the Lawler Fellowship Hall. speeches, but um, it is amazing that what's happened to this church in these last couple of years. And um, 
yes, I had a lot of doubts about it. Even after we accepted Rev, I said, eh, I don't know about this guy. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it turned out well, and um, it's amazing what, what's happened, you know, since we have, um, the Rev has been, and the, the other folks have uh, been here. So thank you all very much, and um, that's it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.